I want to talk about this, a, a way to think about our business relationships. All of us start off in this kind of business being good at something, you know, being an expert, developing content expertise, mastery, and, and that's no trivial thing. It's not easy to stay, especially with all the change going on. There's massive stuff we have to stay on top of, so I don't mean to trivialize that at all. And yet you just heard about some of the advances in AI, right? If that's all you ever do is answer questions, you are at risk of being replaced by a, a silicon-based database as opposed to a protein-based database, you know, which is all that really is. We have to do it. We have to stay up to speed with it, but that's not the end game. The next step is what's really, is, is a really big one for all of us, especially you guys, it's the difference between uh, answers and problem definitions. You've all had a moment when you talk with your business partner and there comes a time in the conversation when that person says, yes, that, that's it, that's what we've been struggling with. Thank you, that's the problem, that's exactly it, thank you. You know that moment? That's the mo if you're in sales, that's the moment you made the sale. If you're in the advice giving business, that's the moment they accepted your advice. And it's very di different. Um, it, it's, it's a trait that we continually need to kind of recognize and cultivate. It's probably where most of our value add comes from. Third step comes a little bit with gray hair and perspective, the ability to say, well, uh, this is how Oracle does it. This is how Salesforce does it. Uh, this is how PeopleSoft does it, something like that. And the fourth level, the trusted advisor role, is really this is where it gets personal. It isn't just content-based, it isn't just experience-based. You're relating to the other person in front of you as a human being. Uh, not necessarily a good buddy or friend, but somebody who's human, who has ups and downs, and you know, the dog won't eat the dog food that morning, and the teenage kids are running around doing bad things. That's the person in front of you. And if we deny that, if we forget to relate to them on that basis, and just think that they're abstract 1099 or W-2 form employees, we miss a whole lot. So. Uh, you might think it's useful to begin, I, I thought at first it would be useful in thinking about trust to begin with a dictionary definition. Turns out it's not. Turns out that trust actually is um, a little more complicated. For example, I trust my dog with my life, but not with my ham sandwich. <laughs> Thank you for laughing, it's not that great a joke, but, but it is a joke. And like most jokes, it rests on dual meanings, which we all kind of intuitively get. You know, you didn't expect that definition over here. We all get it. <clears throat> but try explaining that one to a Martian. Somebody comes down from Mars, and they're very logical, and you try to say, well, trust, uh, life, ham sandwich. Wait a minute, ham sandwich, life, I don't get it, right? Well, we get it because we understand the complexities. That may sound like an academic distinction, but let me make it real to you. A lot of stuff out there about trust looks very impressive, like this. This is from Edelman Public Relations. Um, Richard Edelman goes to Davos every year, makes pronouncements about the state of trust in the world. And they're very data-based, and they're very strong and powerful. I mean, this looks very impressive, right? Uh, me trust in media is going down. Well, that masks a very important question. Is it that the media is less trustworthy, or is it that people don't trust the media? Which one is driving that data? Because if you don't know the answer to that, you can't do anything about it. Let me give you an analogy. In the US, violent crime has declined over the past two decades. Fear of violent crime has gone up over the last two decades. That's a PR problem. By contrast, um, Wells Fargo, they've had a series of trust issues. They screwed up. That's a trustworthiness problem. That's not a PR problem. One follows the other often. And uh, they're, they're two very different kinds of issues. So we, in order to make some kind of uh, uh, effort, we need to, to figure out which problem we're solving.